Merton's Notes 17 Fayen, 1203 It is done. I have reached the Cave of Tribulations and stepped into the hallowed confines of the Hidden Chapel. Never shall I forget what I have been through. I was attacked by giant fire-breathing creatures, power monstrosities akin to drowners crossed with Endrigae, men with the faces of wild animals. Yet Lebiota smiled on me and saw fit to let me survive this harrying gauntlet. At its end, here in the hidden chapel, I surrendered myself to meditation, and immediately he filled my mind with a vision of a lake whose crystal clear waters surrounded me, penetrated my soul, and cleansed it of all wickedness and villainy. When I awoke, I was certain what Lebiota had designated as the last station on my pilgrimage, the Lake of Cleansing, where Lebiota healed the bodies and spirits of his followers. Following the advice of the sage known as the Great Beggar, in whose wisdom I basked at the Temple of Lebiota, I pray all is well with him and the people of his village have understood he only speaks the truth and means them no harm. I shall now leave behind further things binding me to my former life. Doing so is not easy, however, for acquiring these diagrams once cost me a great deal of time, energy, and sacrifice. But I know this is the right path. Let Lebiota accept my humble offering. I now continue onward towards the Lake of Cleansing. Though my road is difficult and full of sacrifices, it grows ever more straight and clear, and I feel a lightness in my soul. My certainty I walk the right path grows strong as iron, firm as steel. Praise be to Lebiota.